Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be making one of these beautiful ginkgo leaf trays from BB Craft. Um, and I'm very excited about it because I was really looking forward to this mold. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got it in my uh, October BB Craft uh, Happy Mail video. So I'll link that in the, or, uh, in the corner so you can see that if you haven't. And it's about seven inches wide and about five inches tall, uh, which is nice. And we're going to be using a combination of bronze gold, grass green, and clear resin. Uh, so I have three ounces of my Fui Tim one to one up here that I'm going to be splitting up. Uh, I've already mixed it together. It's just been sitting for a few minutes just to sort of degas and, you know, let itself marinate. So I'm going to split it in kind of equal amounts, not quite equal. I'm a little bit more of the clear than I have the, uh, the other two. So I'm just going to be mixing up my grass green first. And I believe that these colors, um, these mica powders came from HTV Ront. Uh, I do believe that that is correct. So I'm just putting this in my little scoop doo that I got from insert random resin company here. Uh, I'm just going to be putting a scoop of each in because I want it sort of opaque but not completely opaque, if that makes sense. It's sort of a translucent semi-opaque. So let's get those mixed up. don't see any floaty bits, which is good. Yay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of tip my mold up a little bit and then pour around the edge of the leaf on the top part. Being careful not to go over the border of it. And I'm not entirely sure how much resin this mold takes because this is the first time that I have used it, so you and I will be learning together. That sounds I like learning. Learning is good. Let's try to get some of my resin out of here. Okay. And then before this travels too far, we're going to go in with our green and put it near the end, squish, 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 and get any of those little bubbles out that may want to hide in our stem. Good, good. Looking good. And then we're going to continue to pour here. And Just let that start filling up. Because if you've ever seen a leaf changing, you'll notice that the edges are yellow first before the end, or before the spot nearest the stem, because the spot near the stem is the closest to the nutrition in the water. So now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with clear and fill it up the rest of the way. And what I'm hoping this does is 
is it will cause the outside to come inside, because we all know that resin cures from the outside in, or the inside out, sorry. But what this is going to do is it's going to push those colors out and then bring them back in, much like we're used to with blooms and whatnot. So there we had it. So that was three ounces. And that's perfect. So this is a three ounce mold. Hot dog. That is very good to know. Alright, let that settle a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I didn't fill it all the way up to the top, so it's not doming per se. Um, so I believe that I will be safe to give it a little spritz of isopropyl to get any surface bubbles and let those dissipate. And then what we're going to do, so I'm just going to go around the edge and sort of tap, 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 just to make sure that there's no bubbles hiding in the rim. Just give that a little bit of a flick. Sorry about hand cam. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing, and I will see you guys for next steps. <laughs> see you soon. All right, so now that our little leafy friend has had a chance to sit and thicken up and do some stuff, I am going to go in and sort of manipulate a little bit and just very gently... Do like little tiny figure eights. Just to sort of blend things together. Give it some visual interest. really like this. It's just, it looks beautiful. I like the way that these colors are coming out. I like the way that they're blending with each other. Right, yeah, I like that. All right, so there's that. So now we're just going to let that sit and finish curing, and I will see you guys for the demold. See you soon. Okay, so now that this is done and uh, cured, I'm going to go over the back of it with a very thin layer of my gold UV resin. So I'm just going to shake that up a little bit, make sure that it is all mixed together correctly. And when I say thin, I mean thin. Thin. Like, jelly sliced. Get everything covered? I think so. So, busting out. Old faithful. Since this is so big, I have to do it in different uh, sections. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on for 150 seconds per section. And I'll see you back when it's done. Well, it's that time. It's time to demold. So let's see how it turned out. Just got to find a chink in the armor around the edge here.
And again, apologies for my voice, guys. There we go. Oh, wow, that is really... very well despite my dexterity issues. with the gold. So let's see. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I wanted. Subtle details in the leaf that were in the mold. The color variation between the greens and the golds. Well, that just turned out beautifully, didn't it? Highly recommend this mold. So glad that I got it. Oh, wow. I've been looking forward to these for a long time, and they do not disappoint. So, I think I'm going to be making one in uh, mixed mold. Make a resin next. Gosh, that's pretty. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you love it? Do you hate it? <sighs> Sorry about the sniffling. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers. <laughs>